Question 1. The image shows two immiscible liquids A and B with a block of another material C. What can you say about the densities, row A, row B, row C of these material? We can find how the densities of A, B and C relate to each other by making use of the buoyant force. For a solid object immersed in liquid, the buoyant force experienced is equal to the weight of liquid displaced by the solid object. Knowing this, we can write the buoyant force as density of liquid times volume displaced by the solid times the gravitational acceleration. In this question, the solid block C is floating in liquid A. This means that the weight of C is smaller than the experienced buoyant force when it is fully immersed in liquid A. As a result, it is pushed to the surface of A and only partially immersed in liquid A. This allows us to write down the following inequality, and hence density of C is easily proven to be smaller than density of A. On the other hand, it is clear that the block C kept moving downward in liquid B. If liquid A is not present, we can expect the block C will just sink to the bottom. Thus, this allows us to write down another inequality, saying the weight of block C is larger than the experienced buoyant force when it is fully immersed in liquid B. As a result, density of C is proven to be larger than density of B. Putting everything together, we have the relation, density of B is smaller than that of C, and that of C is in turn smaller than that of A. The answer is then C.